Thank you for watching this live video. My name is Maria Tsangaridu and I am a self-confidence trainer and success coach. So this training is um, made with a lot of love and passion regarding uh, confidence for women, but also for our men. We want you here as well. Yeah, you are important to us. So uh, let me just tell you how much this um, powerful principle philosophy that I am going to uh, teach you today help me overcome insecureness to confidence. First of all, let me see who's checking in with us today. Okay, this is Dima, this is Andrea, this is Nicolas, Yanis, Elena, hello guys, thank you everyone. Please let me know with a simple yes, uh, make me a comment if you can hear me well, if you can see me well, uh, is my sound okay? Okay. I'll give you a couple of more minutes to sit comfortable and enjoy this mini training that if, what's the word, if you pay close attention, will, uh, this might uh, transform your mind and eventually your life. Okay, this is Vespo, Yannis, yes, the sound is perfect, okay. So let's start. Today I'm going to talk about um, uh, the power of I am. These are two powerful words that can change your life. This video is for all mothers, fathers, daughters and sons, teachers, builders, housewives, um, husbands. This video is for everyone, everyone. So. Close your eyes for a moment and think about how many times you wake up in the morning and you say, I am so old, I am so unattractive, I'm so unlucky. So there are days that we caught in traffic and we say, oh, I'm so unlucky, I'm stuck in the traffic. More often we look others that they succeed and we say, oh, I'm so average. Or something like, she's so curvy, I'm so overweight, or I'm so skinny. What we do here? So what we do is we use the power of I am against us, right? So here's the philosophy behind these two words. Whatever follows the I am will eventually find you. When you say, I'm so clumsy, clumsiness come looking for you, that's for sure. I'm so old, wrinkles come looking for you. I'm so overweight, calories come looking for you. It's like you are inviting them. So whatever you follow the I am, you are handing in an invitation and you are giving it the permission to come into your life. Okay, let me pause here and say hi to Marianne, Paulina, Mario, George, Melanie. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, if you guys have any question regarding our topic, please feel free to share it. We are going to discuss with others and answer that. Thank you. So, now we have some good news here. You can choose what follows the I am. You can choose what follows your I am. You can reverse anything that you are feeling doing, thinking, by changing what you will say after your I am. And guys, this is not a joke. I hear so many times from my clients and from people that I network, network with, words, uh, words don't work. This is not going to work. Well, my answer is that um, you are here to learn. 
So learning is knowledge and knowledge is a power only when used, right? Let me repeat that. Knowledge is power only when you use it. So, as I said before, pay attention to what I'm about to say to you and if, if you want to see change in your everyday life, in all the small things you do, um, you will simply practice this principle, okay? So now, when you wake up in the morning and uh, you say, I'm so talented, well, talent is going to come look for you. I am grateful for, the order, for what I have. So things that you cannot imagine are coming to your life. And this, this is true, it happened to me. When you say, I'm beautiful, beauty comes on, on your way. Now, listen very carefully. Even if, you have, uh, even if you have health issues, when you say, I am healthy and ready to embrace my gifts, you attract health and freshness and your spirit also comes alive. So dare, let me repeat that, dare to say, I am beautiful, I am attractive, I am a smart person. Okay. So, you must be very careful what you choose to, 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 to put after your words of I am. Let me give you an example. This goes to the ladies. So, ladies, you're all here, just listen very closely because many women do that and you don't want to do that. So, your husband admires you, right? You are his prize. Stop telling your husband how unattractive you feel. That sounds familiar? Yes. We feel uncomfortable sometimes, we feel overweight, we feel skinny, we feel that we have circles under our eyes, and etc. Stop telling your husband how unattractive you feel. You should never put yourself down, and especially don't put yourself down in front of your husband. To him, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Why you want to tell him anything different, right? Let me hear if there are any men around this call today. Let, let us hear your opinion. Okay, so the last thing your partner or, or, or husband needs to hear is how bad do you think you look? Don't put those negative thoughts in his mind. It's not going to do him or you any good to discredit yourself. If you keep telling him how bad you look, mm, listen to that. Maybe one day he leaves you. Yeah, and you don't want to that to happen, right? Yeah. Okay. Allow me to tell you a true story about myself, and this is an example of um, that. People are not perfect. Don't even think about that anything in life, even for people who succeeded in, uh, in life, is perfect. Of course not. They did mistakes. However, the difference is that they practice the ability to change their habits faster than others that they still wait. Yeah, that's the difference. So there was a period in my life that I couldn't think of getting up uh, from the bed and going to work. I was so frustrated even before I opened my eyes. So I was feeling useless to the world and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Um, these thoughts in my mind made me a sad and negative and boring person. So I was so bored with my own self. But that didn't last long enough though, you know why? After finding these powerful principles, specifically from uh, Joel Austin, I immediately start, start practicing. Yeah, practicing. 
You cannot immediately change your life. It requires some time. However, you can immediately start practicing. It's not going to be easy. It's simple though. Well, if it was uh, easy, everyone here will be successful and uh, life will be meaningless. So, the power of I am. Choose wisely your words because they become actions. Okay, let me say hi to Elena, Andrea, Siliana, Dimitris, Anna Maria, Maki. Thank you everyone guys for being here. Please share your thoughts and your comments. So, um, what we said before is that how we treat ourselves. So, learn to treat yourself with, this, with respect. So, try to practice this principle. Try to wake up in the morning and talk to yourself. How many of you are talking to yourselves? Very few of us do. And please, I, I'm telling you to do that because that helped me to understand that um, I have values, I have standards, I am something. So, I hope you enjoy this, guys. Um, as a gift from me to you, I offer you for free a daily I am declaration sheet. You will find it in the details here. You can download it and you can have it, you can print it and have it on your desk every day. And you can say these powerful, powerful I am declarations every day. Each day has uh, five or six um, sentences you can say, you can choose anyone you like. This is for women and for men as well. Um, I usually hear people say, I don't need an expert's help. I can do it alone. Okay, and how is that work for you so far? Yeah, it doesn't work sometimes. Yeah, there are people that can handle it by themselves. There's no doubt of that. But most of us, most of us, and this is not a bad thing. We need to see ourselves. First of all, um, if you see yourself as a person that needs help, it means that you see your uh, yourself um, as an incapable person. However, if you see yourself as someone who is confident, what's the word? Confident to ask for guidance, mentoring, coaching from an expert, you allow yourself to be open and positive to new information. Um, then these will allow you to move forward in a much more productive way than you were moving until now, right? You need someone to take you from hand and push you, take you, guide you to take action. That's a normal thing and you should create the confidence to ask for someone's advice or guidance, right? Well, um, as we are talking about building your confidence and mind, uh, I'm going to give you a very important exercise on how you can build your confidence um, by reversing assumptions, right? So we all have assumptions about uh, every subject, discipline or challenge. Uh, what is said, what is known and what people believe should be true, right? Okay, so make sure guys that you will send me your email with your name to my email, the email is info at mariatsangaridu.com. You will have this at the end of this live. And uh, so you can have, again, for free, for free, uh, this important exercise who help thousands and thousands of people to see their assumptions change. And by changing your assumptions, um, you change your perspective. And by changing your perspective, you change your um, everyday life. And I think the, everyone wants to change uh, some of their habits, some of their thoughts, right? 
So, I'm going to give you here a fantastic way to feel how is um, confidence coming to your life. Okay, um, let me see something. Yeah, okay, so Theodora here, it says that um, I should say that the older we get, the more we talk to ourselves. Yeah, that's true. Maybe because um, when we get older, we can understand the value of talking to ourselves. When we, when we are, you know, teenagers, sometimes we think that, oh my God, it's so embarrassing to stand in front of the mirror and talking to myself. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, okay, we, there are people that they are doing that, they are thinking like that, but um, if we try to teach even teenagers, from all, all, all people from a young age, to understand how to treat to ourselves, then I think the people will become more confident, like, right? Uh, we need more confident people, we, we need confidence in our lives because we need more leaders, right? Especially women and men, of course, but especially women because there are so many women that they don't have enough confidence. And the reason is that they are not thinking that they are good enough with their husbands, for their mothers, for their children, for their bosses, for their business, for their, I don't know, in, in their everyday life. Thank you, Dora, for this. Um, okay, so please um, check for coaching and training information in the service button in this page. You can see all the service uh, we offer. So it's coaching, it's training, it's everything. We are going to create, this, this is a sample, guys. Let me, let me uh, clarify that, that this is an example, a mini training of what it's going to be in the one day training of uh, building your confidence and mind for success. So check for coaching and training information in the service button in this page. Any question that you have, please share with us, share your comments, email me. Um, you can have my, uh, my number and I wish to you all uh, from today, starting your day, uh, that are coming with a positive thought about yourself because you know what um, there is only one you yeah there is only one me there's only one you and no one can be exactly like you there is no way nada no no so this is your power okay please have it in mind thank you everyone and uh, see you next time